contestant for our preseason scrim against Catastrophe versus Nacho Daddies. A little bit of a technical issue going on, but we got it all worked out. Thanks to our scrim master, Chaos Axel. I'm casting alongside Rocky. Thank you, Rocky, for filling in. Yeah, sure. Glad to be here. Hey, everybody. All right. We're going to take a minute to um, get the teams ready. And Axel's going to start the game for me. So, Era, have you taken a look at any of these teams yet? You know, I know quite a bit of the names. Uh, we, hold on a second. Sorry. Fiddling with my Twitch settings here. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I've seen a couple of these names. Really good players on both sides. I'm so excited to see this scrim. Yeah, this is a big one here. I think maybe one of the last ones before we get started with the regular season next week. So, it's going to be an exciting day. Okay. Rocky, I have one question because I am new to being a scrim, uh, scrim master. How do you drop my little sidebar there? Because I am not sure how to do so. <laughs> I cannot tell you the answer to that. The technical aspects of that is not my forte. We're going to press buttons until it works. <laughs> If anybody can in the chat can let me know if my bar is showing through the screen, definitely let me know. Tell me how to knock that out of there. Make it make it look good. See the whole screen, you know. Chaos says they're almost ready to go. Alrighty. Good to know. So I played with uh, quite a few of these guys, especially in the EU scrims that we have on Saturdays. Um, the Nacho Daddies with Eldritch and Jake and Brad, uh, Steve McFluff, the Torbjorn Master, um, BB's a great healer, of course, and then Steam Bollocks. I've seen a lot on the Somber, so um, we'll see what they bring to the table today. I've not seen a lot of Catastrophe. I've played, you know, obviously a little with a couple of people here, but uh, that's on the team against Chaos before, and then uh, also with, with Cat, but uh, they have a tight team that uh, played with the Rogue Knights as well. I think that's the last Brown. Corey Star and then that back cat as well. And then uh, Globe Dragon, Glob Dragon, I think, is um, plays from Mom's Overwatch League. And uh, and then Ares, is, I think, is kind of new to the team. So, you know, I have not see. seen Globe Dragon before. Yeah. New fellow. I think, I think she plays Drunk Junkrat. So it'll be interesting to see for me today what she does there. I love a little wild junk rat in my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's he's not bad. I play a little junk rat from time to time myself. You know, I've got a little bias here. I see my team captains on Catastrophe. We're gonna know if he's sharing some strats of ours from Legion, but it... have faith. <laughs> yeah, I think Rinse Wash is their normal um, main tank, and he may not be able to make it today. You know, we all have real life things going on. Everybody can be busy, but I'm glad we got a filler right. over there. Yeah, at least the teams will be able to play today. Definitely, definitely. So we're still waiting on the confirmation from Axel. Get this ball rolling. Almost ready. All right. Yeah, the chat's looking for a, a mercy one v one between Cat and B Kokemon today, and uh, they seemed a little reluctant in trash talk earlier, which is very interesting when you got two teams going head to head. Uh, not sure exactly where that competitive spirit is between the two of them, but uh, maybe once the juices get flowing and the game gets rolling, um, we'll, we'll, they'll change their minds and we'll get to see some action between the two. You know, I love good uh, healer <laughs> feet ones. It's a, uh, really a big thing for me. But when you're a healer, and especially a main healer like Mercy, I really doubt we're going to see it mid-game. You know, unless Mercy gets a little too close to the other Mercy, I, I'm not sure we're going to see that, but I'll look out for it. I'll definitely look out for it for you guys. <laughs> yeah, well, we had the free for all on Friday night, and Cat broke out the pistol a few times and cleaned up a few people with it. So, uh, yeah, she's she's not hesitant to do that. I don't think. Cat is definitely scary when it comes to pulling out the pistol. <laughs> I do not want to be against Cat when she pulls out the pistol. <laughs> oh, hi. still waiting for the okay. Hey, everybody in the chat. Hey, Nation. What's up, Nation? We start. All right, let's get this ball rolling. 
expecting a really good match. starting it up oh i think they're changing icons there we go we're all ready hey here we go Welcome. hollywood personal favorite map of mine especially going back to season one you know and i'm kind of excited to see, i don't think i'll see any bastion in this match no you know how easy that is to pull on this map, especially on the first point. Just prop him up there, and enough teamwork, and it's unstoppable. Yeah, I've seen a few bastions on that on that point before. There's a lot of good high ground on this map, and uh, especially when you get into the uh, the second point here. Um, the first phase is always, you know, basically break through the choke, uh, eliminate the other team. So, be interesting to see what the teams come out with. I'm hoping we start off with a good old-fashioned two v two, just to. Just get the feel of what the teams are here to bring. Yeah. All right, teams are locking in. Starting points like Jake's going to be on the Junkrat. Red bringing out Genji. Uh, let's see if they sticks. I think they might be playing with us here at the beginning of the match. See if everybody is, is on. Is that, is that a six meme dr dr DPS team? It looks like it, but I've got a oh, feeling they're going to switch. Oh boy! And an attack bastions. Oh man, this is what I came to see. This is what I came to see. Some some good memes, some good fun. Oh, I love it. Yeah. So over on Catastrophe, they, they don't have the opportunity because they're coming out on defense. they got the run back. So it looks like a legit comp here with uh, Orisa. Yeah. Uh, Cloud Dragon on the Junkrat, of course. Ares bringing Tracer to the party. And Cat on the Mercy, of course, along with Star on um, Zenyatta. And then the last Brown is rolling with the Roadhog. Okay. Oh, they're so not, really they're not memeing point. us. It was a trap. <laughs> Oh, nice pull on that Reinhardt there, from Roadhog. Elders Can pushing in on the Orisa. Chaos backs off a little bit. Elders, the barrier's down by Ryan already. It's a catastrophe bringing a lot of damage into that Ryan as they're pushing back up for round two. Ooh. Nice pull by the Orisa. Big charge. Oh, right into the Ooh, fortify, down. and down goes Eldritch. Dragon still got the high ground here with the Junkrat. Great place to play. Gives Keep you good angles coming through the choke. Yeah. And the Nacho Dice will regroup. Oh, Jake gets hooked, but he gets away barely there. Yeah, Brown definitely has some impressive hooks going on. I wonder if he's going to be able to snatch them healers. Yeah. And they're coming around the second push. Oop. We got Lucio going around behind, booping him in front of shield. Looks like they're trying to Nobody make a healed. push on the left side to make him force reposition here. Yep. Now they're going to rotate to the back and then, oh, I, the daddy's actually oh. come back. It, kind of it was. Oh, very interesting. Oh, here come very the good play. Big one by Zenyatta there. Dragon oh, is that a Jake. Oh, there goes Cats using their pistol. Yep, there we go. <laughs> oh, the last brown is. Oh, in the corner. is not giving up though. That is a really Star good hold res. by Cat. Yep, and it's a nice hold by Catastrophe there. I think Axel is the only one to drop, but he's gonna waddle his little centaur booty right back. <laughs> and I got the last brown out here, giving some damage in, getting a little old charge as the daddies come up for oh. another push. Oh, Ooh, whoops! The he Rhine. just wants he just wants to be real close to this Reinhardt tonight. Not a bad idea yep. either. Just get dropping that shield is crucial for shutting down that push. Elder swinging through. Hard to do with that Discord on him. Oh, Tracer in the back line. Mm. And now down goes Jake. The tanks. Nick Plus got the high ground there on point. He's jumping in with the Hanzo in the back. He's trying to pick a healer. Oh, oh. and Cat gets the res off on the main tank. It's pretty evenly matched here in the in the words in the bodies. Oh, here, here comes the junk rat tire. Climbing the wall. Nope. Can't get it. Onto point. 
He's trying to go after Axe. Will we make it? Uh, I didn't yeah. make it. The tower's not enough to bring down an Arisa on its own, so... It immediately got heals right back on him. Here, Here comes, comes the, the counter tire. Oh, oh gets good pick. two. That's going to slow that push. Daddy should probably back off at this point. Yep, Hanzo's still trying to go for peaks here. Another they could res. possibly That's... take it back. Here comes Mercy nope. Pistol out. Yeah, I, I think, think that's three reses so far already for Catastrophe. Oh, well, they are getting res by a professional here. <laughs> yep. Professional Mercy we got third... coming your way. 30 seconds left. This might be the last push. They just need to come up together Ooh, and I got a hook. really push in as a unit at this point if they want to get any ground on that point. Ooh, big shatter and grav. They've got the trans ready for the dragons. Shoot through ults uh, here. On, yep. the, on the point. Catastrophe looks like they're going to clean this up. Oh. Three, two, Poor Moira. One. That looks like that's backing it. Backing off. All right. Shut down on point A. That's a tough one. But I've been there before, that's for sure. That was a tough match for the daddies there. The defense for Catastrophe was fantastic. Yeah, they, they really kind of pulled together there. They played tight on point. Uh, good rotation around to the back when, when the daddies were pushing to the back door. You know, came back to the front when they kind of faked them out and came back front. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. They just didn't get enough push, I don't think. To really get in and get the picks, and then I don't know that they got the healers down except for maybe once, and the Zenyatta was rezzed almost instantly. So, yeah, um, solid hold. Yeah, definitely solid holds. I thought they might have got one uh, with that junk rat making them some space, but you know they 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 held their ground. Definitely yeah. worked together on that last one. I'm optimistic for the daddies on defense, though. Maybe that's their stronghold. Yeah, let's see. Oh, we don't see the six six DPS meme this time around since they're coming out on defense. It looks like they're running the similar comps, actually identical, uh, except for uh, Tracer and Hanzo switch. Yeah, we got Azaria coming out with red. And Steam Bollocks on the Zenyatta. <gasps> Meanwhile, Catastrophe has switched up Chaos, of course, on the Traditional oh. Ryan pick for him. Uh, uh, hashtag no shield only swing. <laughs> That's right. And then we got last round rolling over to Zarya from the um, road dog from round one. So it looks like Not they're today. setting up on high ground. Oh, no. Uh, Ryan dropped down. I guess down. they changed their mind. <laughs> changed their mind. They want to fight. They want to duke it out. They probably saw Axel coming. Ready to swing. And uh, Also, the catastrophe only has to get one tick here. So you're taking that high ground. It's, it's pretty easy to get that first. That is First true. One there, so it is true. Don't really have much, much room at all. Catastrophe can afford to kind of move a little oh. slower here. Somebody's on the point. Uh, Ooh, the tracer. Like tracer couldn't get tracer them trying picks. to sneak something in the back. Yeah. They were ready for. Her. Star picks the other Zenyatta. Coco Rezes. Right, they're just trying to get some ult charge here, I think. Yep, Tracer's coming back from round two and they were still ready for... She'll get back in there. Oh, she gets the res, res on, here. Res on Tracer. <laughs> Dad's going oh, for the, blood! The there battle, you go. Mercy. There you go, chat. She does She's have the Discord, let's see. Chaos and picks two. She's taking them down. Oh, it, wow. It they, looks like they're going to take it, it here. Yeah. Coco's Definitely. the only one left. She's trying to stall out. Oh, Coco's trying to fight. That's all it is. It's not a Mercy 1v1. One one. One. But it is. <laughs> Mercies yeah. are going in there and they mean business. <laughs> all right. Tashri takes the first match. Nacho Daddy's really weren't able to get the push. And here gets the first play of the game by Junkrat, of course. Probably that really good tire he got in there, saving the point. Yeah, I think she's got a mind kill first. Yep, and here comes the tire for the for the other two, make it three. A little bit of cleanup there. Excellent, excellent play of the game. Great first match. Definitely a lot of close pushes there, but 
catastrophe is able to kind of come away with it and then you know get the get the easy first first tick on point A when they got on offense. So they are a really tough team to go against. They're they're here and they're ready to brawl. Yeah. Just checking if there's going to be any lineup changes here. Okay. Oh, I'm going to another. That map looks like going to Horizon Lunar Colony next, which is a personal favorite of many people. It's probably Mine one of the most popular maps. Yeah. Map everyone loves to hate. Ah, uh, looks like it's going to be King's Row. I love a good Horizon Lunar Colony since I got amped up to be a Winston main now. Yeah. Uh. That King's Row is a good, good alternative. That one's definitely. I love that map. It's it's such a good map. So, what did you think about what we saw in, in round one? Are we going to see anything different from the Nacho Daddies here, or you think it's just going to kind of regroup and try to push again? You know, I think their classic problem is just. I saw a couple people straying away from the team. If if they're gonna run something brawl centric like uh, catastrophe, they gotta all be there together to brawl it out. There's too many people yeah. going off to the side. I just think if they stay together, they can definitely make a good push out of it. Yeah, catastrophe did a great job of burning the shield. It was really hard for them to kind of get some traction there and kind of push into point. Yeah, I think that probably pushed them, you know, to spread out a little bit more than than maybe they, they maybe wanted to. But um, yeah, it was, just, it was a good hole all around, and um, looking forward to see this next round here. Everybody's hyped about yeah. that Mercy showdown in the chat. I know. I mean, Cap, Cap pulled it out. I don't know. Coco's going to let that stand. I mean, is she really going to just play number two Mercy today and just really not go on offense at all? I mean, I don't know. Well, since Cat's got all that clout on Mercy and she's, whatever, I swear, anybody thinks of Mercy, you're also thinking of Cat. She's, she's got to bring her A game. She, she wants to go on, uh, Facing mercy, an aggressive mercy like cats as well. <laughs> I'm seeing in the chat, she thinks mercy is passive. I'm not sure what game they're playing here. Maybe, maybe rethink that strategy. You can be, but if you're gonna go against a uh, mercy who's looking for blood, uh, no heal, only damage. Let's say <laughs> you, you yeah. gotta, you gotta get a little, you gotta get a little pistol action in there. Yeah. I don't know much about Mercy except for the res. I'm, I'm pretty familiar with that one. I try to get every one I can get. I really kind of collect them all sort of thing. So um, as long as they're holding it for me, that, that's really the only thing I really concern myself with as far as the Mercy goes. You know, you know, Mercy is right. You know, Bob, uh, she's defending herself, BB. I understand, yeah. She is. She should be, you know, cho pick and choose her battles. <laughs> But sometimes that is a good strat to just pull out. You're not expecting death from above, you know. <laughs> yeah, especially in Valk. You get the unlimited pistol. I mean, a lot of damage flowing. All right, here for this next match, I think Nacho Daddies really need to go and focus on the healers. They got two two star healers here that are diamond diamond players, and uh, yeah, I don't know if they're able to kind of break through unless they kind of pick those supports, and I would, I would really target it on the Mercy first to avoid that res. You know, they were able to get Star last time, and then you know it was pretty much instantly rezzed by Cat, so if they can get the push in this time with the DPS and, and really focus down that support, I think it'll help. Definitely. Alright, so they're switching should... sides this time. Gonna uh, We're gonna have the Catastrophe starting on Tat. They get a hybrid map coming up here. Usually pretty easy for the, the offensive team to get point one, and then you know the battle is to be able to get the, the payload tool in the map. So we'll uh, see how far they can roll it here. If they, uh, if, if, they, uh, if they push through with all that aggression that they've been pushing through with, I, th I think they could probably take the point. But I'm hoping for nat Nacho Daddies. I feel that they did a little better on defense, and starting on defense could really help them out get their footing in there. Yeah, maybe they can get a shot down here on the first point. Definitely. We can see a reverse of what happened in Hollywood. That is a good question from the chat. 
Is this a... I, I believe this is just a classic three match, right? I just got here, so I have no idea what the plans were for this. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to roll with whatever Chaos throws up for us and, and, and talk through it. All right. If not, we, I think it is fair to let the chat vote on the, the next map for the tiebreaker. That was voted for the other day, huh? It's Busan. Okay. That's third. Yeah, we're checking to see if the teams are ready at this point. Just want to confirm with the Nacho Daddies. Yeah. All right. Looks like they're ready. Oh, that's right. They voted for the map in the Discord the other day, so the third map will be Busan. Thanks, Jay Bailey, for a reminder. And here we go. Now entering King's Row. Now, fun fact about King's Row, BB Kokomon let us know that she actually lives and in King's Row. Really? That is so cool. Yeah, yeah it's a classic a... map, definitely from Overwatch, but yeah. Not sure exactly which, which one is her, her flat there, but I'm sure it's pretty close by. It's a nice bus. It's a nice. It is. It's a real nice bus. I can't look at the boats like Axel does, so I'm gonna have to be the car <laughs> enthusiast for the Discord. All right, let's see what these teams come out with. It's always a good map here. I think it's a good test to see what what both teams have. Ready for battle. All and right. Looks. Fairly similar on catastrophe side as the last push. It's a standard 2v. Go with what you know, you know? Yeah. The Nacho Daddies, though, breaking out the Baptiste and the Lucio. They got triple heals, triple tank. Is that, that a semi goats? Semi goats there, it's huh? Baptiste goats. <laughs> so bringing something new to the table. All right. See where they're gonna set up there. It looks like they're gonna set up here on the point. Make them come to them. Five, four, I was not three, expecting to see goats today, definitely. One. But with Baptiste yeah, especially goats on defense. should be interesting. Definitely. Yeah. Here they come, pushing in. Lucio trying to get a boop there, get somebody out of position. Get Zarya rolling around to the right side. Kind of pushing the team back. They're back in off point already. It's got Axel's coming the pressure. in. Wow. <laughs> it's coming they in. They collapsed full swing. all the way back to the tunnel. And here they come back. They already used their imp field now. And I think it's a little too early for ultimates. You can star over here on the right side of the statue trying to get a pick. The power of destruction. Tracer on the back line. Ooh, here comes the junk rat flank healers. by Glob Dragon. She's behind him. Oh, she is doing into her the best. building. Hopefully, she gets a pick on her. Oh, Zarya was Cal not a warrior that this happen. time. Oh, you're right, Cat is on. It's a Moira v Moira. <laughs> they had to bust yeah. out the claws. Oh, we've got grab, grab already. Oh, that's a fantastic grab tire. Grab. Oh, gets one. But it's the tank, and that's a big one. It looks like Catastrophe is going to push through this with the Moira ult. Good for cleanup. There's a Lucio still left. Oh, he goes down. All right. Looks like oh, Catastrophe we... is taken. <laughs> Love that voice line combo, Axel. <laughs> oh, it looks like they're trying to get some poke damage for their ultimates up here. What's going What you doing up here, Zarya? <laughs> yeah. well, Zarya's making some space here to get around this corner. You don't want to be trapped under those arches on this map. So this, this is a good play, and if I was a daddy, I think I would push up, because you know, I've only got two people up here holding side. Here comes more of their team they... to do some poke damage. Yep. Yeah. I mean, with Ghost, let's get up there and brawl. You know, I think they're playing maybe a little bit too fast, a little bit back on their heels. Yeah, they need to push in and just believe in their Moyer to keep them going. Okay. They're giving ground to come back and get healed up. I think that's good. That Zarya is supercharged, so... Yeah, yeah that's already ready him, but... for the aggression. Front and center, there she goes. 
But Brown they, means they basically oh. pushed. Oh, there she goes got down. Punished for it though. That yeah, is the risk red you got take. Huge pick, and immediately they start pushing back. So a little early on that infield. Tracer ult, no value there. The oh, Double Zenyatta ult. ult saving the Zenyatta ult. All the support ults going down except for Lucio's oh. still got his. Oh, here comes a diva bomb. It's nobody, but they have already got several catastrophe. picks. Catastrophe, a little too much ground. Yeah, I think they're kind of playing Catastrophe's game a little bit here. Instead of getting up and brawling with a goat's comp. See if they have any switches. It doesn't look like. I'm gonna stick with it. All right. Well, there's not much more ground to give. So, Let's see if they can get up and brawl. Jack Rat goes high oh, ground. Good Here comes a big shatter. tire. Good shatter on It's one. Side. It's Coco the healer. So, oh, got a also both fat sides. Grab. Cat. Uh, and nobody went up. down. Dragon here on the point. There's deaths. Getting them pokes in. Yeah. Looks like they're resetting they back here. Out. Just getting a little poke in. Bit of a stagger with a junk rat. And Jake gets demacked. My last brown. Uh, another tracer ult. Nobody that time either. Consider that. All right. Tracer ult with the the grab yeah, next time around. Odd placement for that infield. Yeah, really his, heard his of, Elder uh, Shield showdown. Let's get it back. Ooh, there goes the Rhine. They're down two. Red almost. Oh, there goes the Zarya. All right, there we goes got, a Diva ult. Oh, Diva bomb to help zone it out. Uh, oh, it didn't get anybody, but at least it kind of keeps him stalled for a minute. Definitely. Zarya's high charged again with Blast Brown there. Chaos swings through the Lucio and sends him back to respawn. Chaos does not like shields. He is going to tear through that shield. <laughs> oh, here's a big grab. Right there. Oh, but a oh, hammer down the, the to Baptiste keep him is here. Yep, nice oh, counter. Good, good Elders field there. there. Good field there by Senior Mitchell. Oh, here comes Dragon in with Last Brown. I think the two of them are probably going to be staggered here. Yep. Definitely. That was a great hold by Nacho yeah. Daddies. Coming Big back by some aggression. Oh, definitely. That saved him. That and that infield with a little backup definitely gave yeah. him some room there. Get a brawl in the hall the here. <laughs> brawl in the hall. <laughs> that is chasing Everybody Mora. is all over the place. <laughs> this is probably more problematic for Nacho oh, Daddy. Yeah, there's a couple picks C9 going down. A little bit. Yep. Moira almost got it. They... <laughs> the cat, cat with the back cap, then ults. Dragon's here now, too, to give her a little bit of support. And here comes a Diva bomb. Diva ult. Oh, Axel. Oh, it uh, does get. Ooh, nice big shatter, though, by Chaos. Let's see if it's enough Definitely to get the point. Definitely gonna go ape. Uh, All right, let's see. Who's maybe got a little point? too excited there. They were they were down uh, a few people and really nobody to follow up. And I think Catastrophe is a bit staggered here, so it looks like they're kind of <clears throat> making their way back to regroup. I love their whole change here. Daddies came back to play. They got their mind right. And Goats is a good way to get a team together. Yeah, it's gonna be gonna be hard to break through the ghosts here at the end, but there goes there goes the diva already, so they should push hard here and try to try to get another pick. They've done that Ryan. Oh, and Lucio goes nice down. Shatter. Ryan goes down. <laughs> Baptiste ult. Wow, here it comes. Here comes a junk rat ult to follow up. Oh, got Zarya. This That's a may good do pick. it. Jake's back to hold the payload. He's demicked instantly. That but diva, he's on top that of diva's the holding on. Here comes Lucio, contest master. Oh. Uh, Axel's That's having do none it. of that. Fantastic. Fantastic round. Yeah, so they made it through with about a minute left on the clock, so. Let's see what the Nacho's Daddies can do on offense. 
Let's see if they'll bring the goats again. I definitely think they should bring the goats out again. It could give them a good up in. Making my way downtown, walking fast through the towns of London. Da -da 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 -da. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Karaoke, that's that's something I need healing. <laughs> we frequently do that on the way to points, though. Ah, I didn't know you were part I need healing. I am. I'm the team captain of I need healing. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Cap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was nice to meet you today. We haven't actually been in game or anything together, so. We have not. I don't know when our match is. I believe we're fighting Cat first. Catastrophe. Yeah, we actually have the Nacho Daddies in the first first match for us this season, so. In a couple of weeks. I think it's around the 27th. I'll be excited to see you uh, guys play. I heard you were some of the new uh, the new team on the block, along with Cat. Yeah, we got quite a few preseason games in, so... It's a good start for us, I think. Let's see if we can carry it through and didn't didn't burn it all up. Hopefully, so. I know for a fact you guys got a really good Mercy player on your team, Met Mango. She's a real nice yep. person, and I'm excited to have her on you guys' team. Uh, real nice. Her. I don't know. Well, Jerry's still out on that one. Um, but we, yeah, it's, it's good to have Mango with us. Though. Setting up with some Memetra. Definitely a good defense play. Yeah, they've already got one down on the daddies. Those turrets could really slow down the goats comp here. If they don't take them out fast. Unrelenting Reaper. Got punished for it, but definitely is putting pressure on this goats comp. Yep. Gotta move in here, I think, with that with that pick. Definitely. Those turrets will slow them down. I think that's what's there intimidating There goes Jake him. to point. There he goes. He's pushing in, putting some down. pressure. They are ready the to push in. The rest of the team. Uh, Jake goes down. Ooh, there's a grav. It's a good grav. The Baptiste ult, though, get the double healing as part of that. Cat's ready we for see business. Arisa there she goes. Out. Oh, man, she got Baptiste. Uh, or Baptiste, excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, she really goes after those supports when she pulls the pistol, it looks like. I think that's two supports she's gunned down today. Usually that's Moira's back... job to put uh, fear into those supports, but Mercy is yeah. ready for blood. <laughs> <laughs> Setting back They're push there. right side of the bus this time. They're having a hard time clearing those turrets, maybe. It's slowing them down in the choke. And that Reaper is definitely a presence there. That, that's a good boop from Lucio. They should have pushed in on that, though. Definitely would have given him a little bit of leeway. Die, die, die. All kinds of going ults going up here. The Reaper ult. Oh, oh, oh huge from Jake. Oh, huge bomb. Huge bomb. That Fantastic. That's definitely four. going to give him a leg up here. I think they're going to take it. Yeah. Fantastic wow. ult by Jake holds on D.Va. All right, little victory Jake. spins from Lucio. Uh, yep. I think that's exactly what they needed to get their foot in there. Unexpected. Yeah. <laughs> that is a big boost. You know, when you're struggling like that, having something like that turn it around for you, maybe this will give them enough momentum here and they can push it through. All right, back for the next fight. Stand back by Jake's the Jake's keeping the high ground. Drops down. Those turrets are back up on the bridge. Yeah, there's right, a symmetric wall there the to slow things down. Oh, they're all called. I don't the think Baptiste. anything really came of that Graviton except for a pick on Lucio. Another pick on Symmetra for Catastrophe. Oh, Ooh, fat shatter. shatter. Big shatter. Let's see if they can clean it up. Oh, there's oh. Kokomon. She's... On a boost. All right, bunch of bunch of Ooh, picks. There's for an ult by Marissa. Daddies. He's kind of all alone. Oh, that was. They had been a waste there. Oh, excuse me. That's uh, cat. No, that is Nacho Daddies. Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah, the Nacho Daddies. <laughs> Color flips. Color flips throwing me off. <laughs> and uh, just when we get used to it, they go and flip it around on us. All right, we'll see if Catastrophe can get one more hold here. Looks like they have enough time with the payload crawling its way forward. 
and they're getting set up here. Chaos has switched off of Arissa and onto the Rhine. It's getting serious. Oh, here comes Cat with a pistol. Axel like a madman. Pins the Rhine and takes oh, him down. I think he just denied uh, his ult. Nope. Oh, look at She's gunned down another support. Now the Zarya is going to push him all the way back to the spawn. Get some of that good ult charge. Catastrophe is never going down without a fight. Definitely. Yeah. The difference in the two teams there, you see a lot of, a lot more aggression, I think, out of Catastrophe. Oh. So there's a Reaper dropping behind. There's a crab. Oh, maybe that'll be another one. No, nope, it's a got the shield in time. A little harder to do on the Rhine, it can spin around like that versus the Orisa that's a lot little more stuck. Here comes the counter grab. Ult there from Baptiste, but doesn't affect too much. Ooh, Good there's shatter. a shatter. Get a little too close to the action there, wow. sorry, chat. <laughs> big shatter by Eldritch. No shield only and swing big cleanup. in the chat. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> and that looks like they're gonna get it here. Nacho's daddy's definitely bringing it back in King's Row. All right, they've got a minute 50 to get to the same point here. Three minutes to get to the end. Charge bubble. All right, we see you coming to bump the Rhine, trying to. Denied that Reaper ult there. Chuck right kind of on the back line there. He's ready to pop oh, that. Oh, the tire. Uh, oh, oh, there's three. Despite the Dragon Zeta gets ult. three. Good combo. And they'll send the daddies back to spawn. Look at that. Good deny push there. Yeah. <laughs> off payload. Yeah. Well, sometimes you need to push off payload just to win a team fight and get progress on, you know, on moved. Couldn't think of the right words there. Sorry, guys. Yeah, make some space, I think. Yeah, you don't want to just be sitting back with it. So, yeah, you could be sitting on the payload getting some progress, but you could also be ensuring as much progress as possible before the team comes back with their ultimates. Well, Zarya picked up a lot of charge on that Diva ult, and they've okay, got two. So that is a really good use of the immortality there, boys and girls. Ever there's a Zarya ult. Always throw that infield down. <laughs> Definitely, you team clean will up thank again you. there. That's going for Azaria's that res on like, her junk rat, who was getting some backline damage, pushing him back. To always the... good to res the junk rat. All right, they're coming back full force here. Sorry, still high charged. Big shatter. Big shatter. Let's see if they can clean up. On that. Ooh, counter Reverse. shatter. Wow. I and believe both support are ults out. out on uh, Catastrophe. And I think they made the and most of it with them. Definitely. <laughs> the Battle Mercy pick. The Zenyatta pick. The support's doing work here. Oh, emotes from Cats. Definitely getting cocky on Cats there. <laughs> they're ready to go in. It looks like they're going her in on left to get a little bit of coverage. Oh, no, I am wrong. Definitely I have not seen again. any tactical crouches today, though. No tactical crouches? Well, we're keeping it clean. Keeping it PG. <laughs> okay. Die, die, die. Wow. Grab. Do much Here comes that. another tire. tire. Fat and tire. two more. Really good. And it looks like the Nacho Daddy is going to get another free trip to spawn. Looks like they Ooh, shut down that push stagger. before it even Five started. Seconds. Yeah. It looks like the catastrophe is nope. going to drop another one here. Or win another one. Was not how nope. I thought this match was going to go. Definitely. Uh, it's good to see the daddies get a, get a good push that time. They just got stalled on that first first run and really never got their ground again. Alright, here comes BB on Moira. She's telling us she is ready for that aggression. Yeah, that, no that heal, pacifist only stuff. <laughs> None of it that. It looks like that's out the window. <laughs> she's, she's, ready to go, she's ready to fight. Oh, look at that. Excellent. Excellent play of the game. She steals the play of the game away from Jake with that diva bomb. 
Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive play all around from these guys. On the edge of my seat the entire game. Yeah. Just good back and forth on that one, especially on the payload portions. You know, uh, the daddies really brought their aggression this round. I, I think they could definitely push it if they used their ultimates a little, little bit, little more smartly there. You know, combo them. Um, they could definitely get some things done. And I've realized I've said definitely probably like 20 times by now. Sorry, chat. <laughs> uh, Coco did. You're very I sure of it. Definitely. MVP for that round. That Moira aggression is definitely what they needed. Keep doing it. <laughs> right. We're ready for the switches here. Anything you want to add, Rocky? No, I think they're going to switch it up a little bit here on the catastrophe side, and uh, so it'll be interesting to see what the sub brings in. Um, you know, I agree with you. They you just didn't have quite enough push there, but it was good to see them get a little bit more aggressive this time um, and, and be able to push the payload all the way through. It's interesting to see the, the Baptiste in play, um, you know, with, with the GOATS comp like that. Uh, I haven't seen that before. So uh, bringing some creativity out with the Nacho Daddies there. And, you know, I think it worked for them for the most part. I think just got a few more picks there in that last little bit. Uh, you know, maybe they got the payload to the end. Yeah. Baptiste brings a really strange dynamic for GOATS comp. It either helps or hinders it. I think in this case, if the immortality field was used more uh, for ultimate blocking, they could have got a little more leeway into pushing the point and maybe winning that round. But he he is still relatively new, so we we will definitely see more from Baptiste players in the future. It might yeah. be a little too early to bust him out. Yeah, I think burning the lamp is something everybody got to get uh, experience with too. Just you can't let that thing sit around. It just kind of keeps your picks away. And I think that's something that everybody's got to get used to. I genuinely believe that should be an ultimate because uh, it is really powerful just for a base ability. Yeah, if nothing else, let's give it a longer cooldown. Now the the cooldown, yeah, I, I, it should definitely be an ultimate. It should definitely be an ultimate. The cooldown is okay because you don't see it that much as you think you do. Because you're battling, you know, you lose track of time. It should definitely be an ultimate. His ultimate is very yeah. underwhelming compared to that ability. Yeah, I, we've had a couple of good placements on, on our team and some of the, the practice we've done with him. Um, he's, he seemed to be fairly strong on like Anubis. We've got a lot of those long sidelines and corridors. But yeah, I agree with you. I, I, it seems like the only thing I would say on the flip side of that is that you know, you can, it kind of allows you to kind of gain ground a little bit more, um, you know, because you can't die, so you can you can kind of push up and, and do a little bit of leapfrogging with it, um, you know, from the offensive side of things. And then, yeah, I think it's pretty strong, too, on uh, control points. When people are kind of pushing in, you're able to stay on your ground there and fight without getting the push. But, uh, yeah, I don't disagree. I, I, anything that, that helps my rip tires out, I'm all for it. So let's, <laughs> yeah. let's get rid of the lamp completely. Let's just get it out of the game. All right, we are waiting for confirmation from the teams here I think I saw they were trying to get everybody into chat um, on the catastrophe side with the with the substitutions that they're doing yeah, cats moving things around the nacho daddies are ready to fight yeah they're still not ready on the catastrophe side <laughs> huh? so arrow how do you feel about Busan Oh, you know, I have a love-hate relationship with this map. There's just certain comps in this map that makes it an absolute nightmare. And especially if the enemy team has those those good snipers, you're, you're going to get a run for your money there. Yeah. Busan is one of my favorite maps to sit out um, and let, let somebody else come in and play. Um, you know, so it's our first <laughs> map of the season that we're going to be playing on. Still not sure if I'm going to be in there for that one or not. Uh, it's a good good opportunity to kind of let somebody else let somebody else get in and get some time because it's not my favorite. Uh, I, you know, I kind of like the out the outdoor with the downtown one, uh, but yeah, it is Sniper City, which is is not great for the, the heroes that I normally like to play. So. I think the only one I don't like is the uh, Shrine. It's a little too open for me. It is a tank playland though. <laughs> it's a good play it's a good fun time to be when yeah. you're a tank making them as, making as much space as you possibly can. What is it? Too much space, Blizzard? <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. It's wide open. It's good. Possible rework good. like it needed on Horizon. Yeah. 
still waiting on our team here. All good. It's all good. Okay. Starting in a few seconds here, I guess uh, Catastrophe is going to stay on attack. Let Nacho, da Nacho Daddy's in. Oh my gosh. You know what I didn't realize, Rocky? <laughs> What's that? Look, look at those uh, icons, why don't you? Excuse me, guys. This is this is a family-friendly event here. <laughs> This, I think this is a, a European thing. I played with them uh, a few, I guess probably three weeks ago, and we used a very similar uh, icon strategy uh, uh, with, with the, the European scrim that we run on Saturday. So it was not a super big surprise for me, but uh, yeah. Thank you for Na Nation definitely just reminded me. Please go check out our Discord, uh, 18 plus Discord for non-toxic, non-racist, non-bigot, non-sexist, good time. The other players like to play Overwatch. Link is in the description in the chat. Yep, meet good people, group up and play. We're PS4 focused, um, so yeah, it's good. We got a lot of people in the in the US, obviously, and then the rest of the world and then European. So we are also check us on. Out. We are also on most uh, social medias: Facebook, Twitter, uh, Reddit, I believe, and we just started our Instagram page. If you want to get featured on our Instagram page. Uh, we have different days like show off your pet or your plays of the game, anything like that. It's all good fun. All right, I'm interested to see what the teams come out with here, especially catastrophe with the sneak subs. Over here. Uh, I'm in the wrong place. I wanted to hear a little bit of a. No, I'm in the right place. Do I hear a little bit of sexy, sexy Reinhardt in there? Got <laughs> <laughs> the karaoke here on Busan. Always a a favorite. Doesn't look like Catastrophe is up for singing. We look for Ares trying to make that pick for the team. Still gonna be looking out for Sexy Sexy Reinhardt in there, guys. You gotta give the people what they want. <laughs> All right, we got Senior McFluff on his Torb, so, and then we've got also a Bastion this time around. So bringing out the bunker comps, except there's no Static Shield. It's uh. Yes, uh, Actual will be definitely disappointed if there's no 66 around there. We are seeing a great dive comp, it looks like, for Nacho Daddy's two picks down. Oh, no picks, sorry. My bad. <laughs> you see that red line, you get scared. There is a Winston yeah. on that Widow shutting her off that high ground. Definitely good. There goes the Torb turret. The Widow has already been picked by Eldritch on the Winston. But Catastrophe takes the point. Nacho Daddies are counter pushing now. Jake holds on the tracer this time around. Interesting and red on the Diva. Pick. Definitely. I was not expecting to see Torby. We could definitely give him a little leeway on this, keeping the point. Oh, there's Cat has raised the junk rat again. Always key strategy. Yeah, I think that pushes over for the notch or no. Oh, excuse me, that is Oh, that is catastrophe. I'm sorry. Yeah, catastrophe took the point there. Catastrophe took the point, then denied it on Nacho Daddies. I think I saw a stat on this map that said something like two thirds of the games are won by the team that caps first. So it'll be interesting to see if, if the Nacho Daddies can actually reverse it here. Point is life. I love a good Winston gameplay. Definitely, he is looking to make as much space for these guys as possible. Needs some help, I think. The, the team the Nacho Daddies need to. Oh, there's a Lucio. It's gonna slow that down. Monkey's going bananas on point. Not sure. Oh, he got a pick Ooh, on goes a... Kirio. Or no, Aries that's not Zarya, on that. Right, um... Ooh, here comes a D.Va. And that Ooh, bomb goes gets to the Lucio. Lucio, sorry. So used to the nicknames, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Nacho Daddy's, again, not able to get a real solid push here. Maybe bring a little more DPS or something to the table. They do have the Madman Torbjorn ready to swing with that little hammer. Ryan swing with that big hammer. It's a good pathway for him, I think, with the comp they're running, oh. but they get caught two, with the Reaper, and he's going to take two in a turret. Uh, shut that, shut that push right Ooh. down. I'm not sure Corey that... on the D.Va, and there's a team kill. Oof. Good job, guys, from the Catastrophe side. They might want to swatch off... Uh, switch off that tour because he, that is what I think that's gonna be it. A little bit of an ambiguous yeah. use for the, the molten core there. I think he was just trying to <laughs> poke he's... up at that uh, that Reaper up there, giving him problems. Yeah. 
<laughs> all right, we got to see something more here. That was a hundred to nothing. Those are always tough. Oh, look there. The boats in the distance. How beautiful. <laughs> not enough boats. What is it with Legion and the boats? I'm not, you know, not following. We we set sail for battle. Uh, we okay, uh, gotcha. if or by land or by sea, it is by boat. I uh, gotcha. <laughs> Looks like they're sticking with that Torbjorn uh, on the Nacho Daddy's side. The and they got a shield tank this time, so that might help. Let's help with that. Jake's on the junk rat. They did have uh, Reinhardt last time, but it it just was not. It's I don't, I'm not sure it's the way to go. I love Lucio was down quick. What they Star. should be running is uh, a Reaper for that Winston jumping on their back line and D.Va to follow suit. Catastrophe is just pushing those guys back. They're still fighting them out here in the mid. Uh, and Nacho Daddy's backs up a little bit to get regrouped. Yeah, they, they did at least demech the diva there. Guys, please, I, I love Torbs. I love Torbjorn. But this is this is not <laughs> the way to go. <laughs> Ooh, big ol' by cat. Got two, including the tank and Jake. Ooh, there it is. Lucio taking down the Zarya, and the daddies Push. are running back. They are pushing them back to point. Daddies need to um, maybe change a different change a different direction. This will heal you. Good fire strike came in. There is a reaper oh, on help. the daddy's side to take care of that Winston now. Yeah. Might think twice of jumping on their back line. Close to shatter. We got two support olds for the daddies here to push in with. Let's see if they get it done. Yep. The oldest is lining up that shatter. There it comes. That's a good shatter on their part. Oh, it gets a counter from the junk oh, rat, and he gets, she gets three. Devastating. It's huge by God. dragon. That's gonna slow their progress. They almost had it until junk rat came in with that ult. They're gonna try a somber now. Oh, and I just came to realize Nacho Daddy's only has one healer on their team. Yep. And Jake switches to Lucio here. So, oh. Stingball X on Sombra, which is seeing the scrims has been a bit of a pain to deal with, but immediately picked by the Hanzo and Last Brown. Here's the last push, it looks like. Let's see if they can get any, any, any time on point. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Looks like they're just gonna clean it up again. Really There's a shatter from Eldritch, uh, but here's a diva to counter. Gets no one. And that's gonna be it. That was wow. Rough couple of games. A little bit of a rough couple of games there. I am not sure yeah. what the Torborn pick was. I don't know if it was out of frustration or <laughs> they had a plan. And I know they he plays. Get it. He plays a lot of Torborn. Loves to get on it. That's his main. So. The chat was excited for I'm not die, doubting him. Die, it's a, it's a fun pick, definitely. It's not one you see very often. But against what they have, I'm not sure it was the right right pick at the time. Yeah. Four cards across the board for Catastrophe. That was a that was a solid win on Busan. That's why a lot of people love to hate that map. Ah. Thanks for letting us know, Laura, about... It turns out that their two healers, a couple of their healers, are out and unavailable to play today. Ah, uh, so they're flexing a bit. A little shorthanded. Although it being a sweep, it was definitely a great game to watch. It was, it's, yeah. It'll give both teams uh, time to reflect on what they need to work on. Uh, and what they need to do bring for the season this is preseason after all you know you work out all yeah. your kinks here yeah it was a good test it was good to see catastrophe out um yeah i think this is their first scrim uh, of the preseason so i uh, get to see a lot of what they're able to bring to the table they, they play really tight together as a team um and you know they were they were able to get it done today you know i am still optimistic for the uh natural daddies they had some great pushes there that ultimately got denied by those 
sick junk rap bombs. I gotta say, his his bombs were on point today. Uh, who was that yeah. on it? Was that was that? Uh... That was Glob Dragon. That I think Glob she's Dragon, known right? as Sherlock. I think also in the Discord. Alrighty. Well, guys, I think that's uh, it for our games here. Please check out our Discord, 18 plus uh, non toxic community, and our social medias. Is there anything you would like to add, Rocky? No, it was fun doing this, Arrow. It was uh, good to meet you, get to get to commentate with you today. So it was good to see these teams and what they're able to, you know, kind of bring out. And uh, you know, the Nacho Daddies just need to push a little bit harder, I think, on some of these points. Uh, they're a little bit too passive, but I think overall, you know, it was good games, good matchup between the two. And uh, yeah, it's great and get very excited for uh, season two of the Nerf League coming up here. Just, uh, I think it's next week. Yeah, so. next week on uh, end of tax day. By the way, if you guys didn't get your taxes done, now's the time. Um, yeah. <laughs> Really good, really good meeting you. Great casting tonight. Uh, oh, thanks. It was fun. Definitely. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We really appreciate you watching. See you there on our on our league match on the fifteenth this Monday. Yep. Yeah. Bye everybody.